find angles x y and z below so you can see the angle x y and z for us to start this now let's look at this angle given 70 degrees now this line moves from a to b and then another line from c to b and it forms this 70 degree now if we also look from the same point a and c another set of lines move from a to the center another one from c to the center don't forget this one moves from a to the circumference b and then from c to the circumference b this other line moves from a to the center o this is center o and then from c to the center o when you have a case like this where two lines goes to the circumference to form an angle and another two lines from the same point don't forget from the same point moves to the center of the circle to form another angle the angle formed at the circumference and the angle formed at the center are related and what is the theorem connecting them the theorem states that the angle at the center is twice that at the circumference so with that theorem we can straight away obtain the value of x so i'm going to say x is equal to 2 times 70 and that will be equal to 140 degrees so the value of x is 140 why angle at center is twice that at the circumference okay now for us to obtain y there's another rule that we can apply now which is very common that the sum of angle at a point is equal to 360 so if you check the angle made by x and that made by y all together they form angle at a point at a point that is like forming a circle and the sum of angle at a point is 360 so i'm going to say x plus y is equal to 360 sum of angle at a point so since we already know the value of x as 140 we can obtain the value of y and so we say y is equal to 360 minus x and the value of x is 140 so that will give us 360 minus 140 360 minus 140 and that will be 120 degrees 120 degrees sorry 220 degrees so y will be equal to 220 degrees as the value of y so we have now obtained the value of x as 140 and then we have also obtained the value of y as 220 don't forget the theorems that we have applied so far now let's go to the aspect of z now if you check this angle here z a line originates from c to d which is at the circumference and another line originates from a to d which is also the circumference and the two lines form angle z now in the same way another line move from c to the center and then another line from a to the center so it will now be obvious to see that the angle formed at the circumference is related to that formed at the center don't forget again the two pairs of lines are originating from the same point A and C. A pair goes to D to form angle Z, which is the circumference. Another pair goes to the center of the circle to form another angle there. And that angle that it forms it is angle Y. So don't forget, this Z has its angle at the center as Y. So just as 70 has its angle on this side 
the lower part now, which is, I, I can call it the corresponding side. So 70 forms angle X now at the center. In the same way, Z forms angle Y at the center. So don't forget, the rule is that angle at center is twice that at the circumference. So that means to say 2 multiplied by Z will be equal to angle Y. Because angle Z is at the circumference and angle Y is at the center. So don't forget this Z has its angle at the center as Y. Y70 has its angle at the center as X which is like the corresponding side. So this Z has the corresponding side Y. This 70 has the corresponding side X. So don't forget that is how to identify the angle at the center and at the circumference. So going by it again, angle at center is twice that at the circumference. So that means two multiplied by Z, which is at the circumference, is equal to angle at the center, which is Y. We already know the value of Y as 220 degrees so for us to get z now what do we simply do we say z is equal to 220 all divided by 2 and that will give us angle z as 110 degrees so we can now summarize by saying x is equal to 140 degrees y is equal to 220 degrees and z is equal to 110 degrees as our final answers so please subscribe to this channel so that you can get more lessons like this thank you for watching and see you in the next video